So let me show you what new things we've got in Time Planner app version 3.13. And let me start right from the most important one, and that is Filters tab. Filters tab allows you to see your saved preset searches, to see the needed objects and on one screen. And let me show you what I've got here. So I have the following filters. Do, decide, delegate, delete. Those are from the Eisenhower box, as you may remember. And also I've got notes and documents. And let me show you how you can create your own filters. And for that we use search icon on top right. Search button. And let's say we would like to see the expenses from the last seven days, last week. And we use tag expense as the keyword. We choose to search for logged activities of value type for the last seven days. And we use add as filter button here and we name our filter so let's say those will be expenses of last week and we can add it either either to the top or to the bottom and i save it here it is so when i tap on this filter i can see a list of objects that satisfy the criteria that i have set so all of them have the expense tag and those are logged activities of value type. And from here I can edit these objects if I need to or do some other things with them using the menu button. And also I can change the search criteria right from here. So I tab on the keyword area and I can change something in here. So let's say I'd like to see the expenses for the last three days. And here it is. The list is different. But what I've done just now, it does not change the filter that I have created. The search criteria in it are still the same, like this. And if you'd like to edit the filter, you'd like to uh, add some other criteria there, you use menu button uh, to the right to its name and edit. And also from here you can delete this filter if you don't need it anymore or if it is out of date. And also you use big plus button on bottom left and filter to create the new filter in this tab. And also you can uh, rearrange the list in here. If you long press on the filter and move it to another place. Same works with, with tags and lots of other objects. By the way, about tags and filters. In modules tab, you can disable both of those modules if you don't need them or if it is, if it clutters your app. So, let me go back and we see there are no tabs like this. If we bring them back, here they are. And as you can see, disabling them in modules tab does not delete and re or remove the data you have in here. It is just hidden. All right, I'm done and you have a great time playing.